Come on, Jet, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. I know, you're so excited. Come on, let's go. Come on, after you. Gotta watch that Bronco downstairs. What is it? Is it snow? Is it snow? Look at all this snow! Look at it all! This is the first day of spring! Are you covered in snow? What happened? What happened? You're covered in snow. Are you gonna shake? Can you shake? Can you shake? Did you want a cookie? Is that what this is? You want a cookie? What do you do? Hmm? What do you do? Very good boy. Good job. Danny is currently upstairs, right above me, in the playroom and the girls' room. She's got two rooms to herself. She's in isolation um, because the laxative that we gave her didn't fix the problem. So we're going to try and give her an area where she can de-stress and calm down and hopefully remember what a litter box is. But it's snowing. I think Steve. <laughs> nope, that's the neighbors. <laughs> Jet, there is no barking. Jet. What are you doing? Is that your favorite? Come on, bring it with you. Bring it with you. <laughs> so we took the heater apart. You, which, you took the heater apart. Okay, yes, I took the heater apart. So that's the heater itself, and then that was mounted inside of this shroud, which was mounted inside of this shroud. And it appears that our previous homeowners have cut a hole into what appears to be a metal lined duct of some sort. They just cut that right out of the brick? Well, I'm not sure why the duct was originally here, but yes, it's basically just embedded in the brick. <laughs> and then they just ran illegally Romex down through it. So we have to eliminate this wall anyway because we cut holes in it and realized that it didn't work. So. I'm trying to pull the electric out so that I can make it safe to bury behind a new wall. And I'm running into all kinds of interesting finds. So, yeah, hopefully I can just yank this cable from the basement and pull it all back down. Hopefully. We'll see if that actually works or not. There's actually two wires that run down in this duct. Really? Yeah, the one on the right is what used to be the outlets for the room. 
and the one on the left is what used to power the heater. So I'm really curious where they both go, because in the basement there's only one wire going into the duct. Oh no. So... Oh no. So did you want to go downstairs and I'll stay up here? Yeah, I can yank on it down there and we'll see what happens. Okay. But essentially, yeah, one of them is this one that comes through. You look at the original baseboard color, by the way. Ooh. So, very similar to downstairs. Not quite as red. Yeah, they put a stain on top of that, which I don't know what to do about that because it's, it's done very poorly. Well, and I'm not sure what kind of damage we're going to see with the uh, electrical because I have to remove the rest of this yet. But Right. Yeah, I can go yank on this and see what happens if you wanted to... Uh, let me know. Okay. There we go. Disconnect from power supply before removing cover. Hope that happened. This is the duct that I had seen. It appears they have stuffed this into. And Yep, there's a junction box hanging, not accessible, also illegal. And then that splits into two wires. I'm willing to bet those are our two. Are those the two wires? Can you hear me, Allie? Yeah. All right. Um, take the caps off of the one in the baseboard and see if you can push it through. Is it off? Yeah, the power's off. Okay, it's almost through. Everyone seems to be hung up on something. I don't know. Keep pulling. Here, Chip. That did it. Yep, that's it. Okay. So all of this wire here was illegally run up through this vent of sorts. I'm not sure what that was originally for. I know at one plate, at one time they did have a coal stove down here because there are other vents, like one over here and there's one over behind there as well. There may have been uh, cold air intakes for that or exhaust, I'm not sure. Either way, we have eliminated those so I can uh, terminate this box and then we can safely turn the power back on. Are you editing video? No. Steve has got, okay, so we're gonna go over this. We should just go over it. Anyway, a guy is here to look at our heating system. Um, and we'll do a Q&A here really quick, but I wanted to let you know my spike was kind of like freaking out. He loves this spot. And we put this dresser here because it was out of the bedroom, but he loves this spot. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> so these brackets here weren't actually screwed in at all. <gasps> See what they used them for. Here. They didn't have their conduit, or their wire mold rather, uh, cut to the right length. So instead, they just put these little brackets over it and didn't even bother to put screws in it. Wow. So, yeah, basically it was just the wire hanging out with a little metal bracket over it. So, yeah, this wire mold has been questionable at best. All right, so we just finished adding the bottom plate in. Now that we have all the trim off, here's what it looks like. So now essentially, I chiseled out the molding in the corner, took this whole length out, 
and then the new wall basically goes right up there and then this butts up against the other wall so it'll basically be just about four inches shorter than the room used to be but not enough to really notice because we have plenty of room so yeah this basically runs the entire length down to the other side so next up we'll be putting the studs in and then there will be a top plate that goes all the way across the top and thankfully this room doesn't actually have crown molding it just is painted to look like it does um, yes we will eventually but but i'm happy that i don't have to remove any right now it looks like this it looks very basic does it like pumpkin spice steven well that's what basic is right yeah well it matches my pumpkin spice then <laughs> I like, their, I like our basic molding. I love my pumpkin spice. I like it. I think it looks really neat. And it's it's like styrofoam. It's not wood. Um, so I'm really interested to see how this paints. It says it comes pre-primed. And it's really cheap. Like $3.90 for six and a half feet. So I'm excited. We have good stuff. How are you? I'm how good. Are you I'm planning our trip to Maine and Canada. That sounds uh, fun. It's not. I worked all day, and then after work, I tore some molding out, and a heater, and electrical, which is all gone. So now you believe the boiler. Wow. Yeah, this is the bottom plate. Oh, sweet. Okay, so how long is that being, Josh? Uh, it's going to get screwed into the floor. Kind of like the tacons that you did at the other house, but... Well, not not nearly so aggressive, because right, I can just drill into wood instead of concrete. Um, I don't know if it will hit a floor joist or not. I'm not sure. Either way. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure if it'll hit a floor joist. It doesn't really matter either way because we do have hardwood floors, so I'll just screw it on regular intervals. Okay. Um, and that way it is firmly attached to the floor. Mm -hmm. You can attach it to the wall too. Once I get the stud in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. So, we should go make dinner because I'm hungry. Oh, are you getting hangry? Hungry, not hangry. Okay. okay. Maybe we'll do like an AU combination. We'll do hungry. Hungry? That hungry. way I can take a break because like I'm trying to compare where we're going to stay versus when we're going to get there and like we're losing my mind. Is your head ready to explode? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I'm rapidly approaching the point at which I can't make noise anymore anyway. It's after so, seven, so yes, I concur. Right. Yeah. So thankfully I've done all my loud hammering and banging noises and such. You think the screwing will be quiet? Yeah, it should be. Okay. Just drive it real. Okay. So. It's still snowing. It is still it's snowing. It's literally been snowing since this morning. And apparently it's going to continue until like tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, and it's going to work because it's close to the warehouse. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah it's... super exciting because then I can put this video together. It's actually gotten quite deep. Yeah, Jet loves going outside. I don't know if you're going to have to plow that parking lot or not. Yeah. When I say plow, I mean... Snowblow. Snowblow. It's uh, beautiful out there. Thank you.